DMB is always working super hard to implement new programs and activities to contribute to the proper use of the occupants' protection devices, such as seatbelts. And today we have the chance to learn more about this new program. Let's welcome to the show Mr. John Sanders. How Good are afternoon. you? Hey. How are you? Welcome to the show, Mr. Sanders. We are wonderful. It's great to have you today with us. Uh, I've got a question for you. Why do you create this program and why do you think it's very important? Well, because folks are losing their lives out there on our roadways at, 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 at too high a rate. Uh, in our business, the only acceptable number we always talk about is zero. But we are, we are far from that. However, we want to put uh, measures in place to help us reach those numbers. So the opportunities you've given us this afternoon to just talk about this issues of of getting folks to wear their seatbelt, which is one of the most important things you can do, is, is very important to us. Yes, it is. Now, you say it right. when you're talking about numbers, what are the statistics when it comes to fatalities in Virginia in car crashes when it comes to seatbelt wearing versus not? Now, well, I'm gonna, let me just give you the numbers as of, of yesterday for this year in 2023, and then we'll look at last year's numbers. Uh, as of today, we've had 231 fatalities mm. on Virginia's roadways. As you can see, that's, that's far from zero. Right. And uh, of those, uh, 95, 95 of those fatalities in vehicles that were equipped with seatbelts. So that, so if we're talking pedestrian fatalities and maybe motorcycle fatalities that don't have, that do not have seatbelts, these numbers really, we take those numbers out. But of those vehicles that that uh, have seat belts uh, in them right now, uh, we've had 95. So that's 7% a decrease from where we were last year uh, on this same date, which sounds great, but not not nearly enough uh, decrease in where we are. In 2022, we had we had the highest number of fatalities that we had seen in several years. We had 100, uh, I'm sorry, 1,005. Mm. 1,005 fatalities last year. And of those uh, fatalities, 375 or about 54% of all of those fatalities were unbelted. So as you can see, we, we have a lot of work to do. Yes, and you guys do an amazing work with the campaigns. Also now, every year, every day, we have new drivers. Now with social media, I saw a lot of kids, and not just kids, also adults also, on the red lights, moving the seatbelt under the arm just because they want to do a selfie. What is the proper way? Maybe these people think that they're still protecting themselves, but they're not. Right? They are, they are, no, they are not safe. There's, the seatbelt is, is, has a purpose for it going across your, your, your chest and across your waist. Uh, those three-point seatbelts have been designed to save your life, and they have proven to save your life uh, each and every year. We, we think that uh, the, the numbers are, are, are tremendously high each year in the number of lives that are saved. About 15,000 uh, lives a year uh, last year, for example, 15,000 over the nation were saved because people wore their seatbelts. So really not, not a game you want to play. If you're, if you're in a parked area, if you're in a parking lot or, you know, in your driveway before you leave or somewhere is safe that you can do that, then you, you can, in fact, uh, maybe take a selfie. But, but you, once, yes. once you back, start backing out of your driveway and whenever your car is in motion, you need yeah. to wear your seatbelt appropriately. Very, very dangerous. And I saw it on the, the, on the red light sometimes. People, let's just take a minute and then they forgot to put it back, mm. you know. Well, the, 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 problem, the problem is, is, is that why you always have to wear your seatbelt and ensure everyone else in your vehicle is also properly belted. Correct. Because I, now I'm just, I'm just going to give you some average numbers of, of, of what our risks are each time that we, we go out. There is one crash every 4.3 minutes. Mm. This is in Virginia. 4.3 minutes, there's one crash. And we took this, those numbers from last year's uh, total numbers. So 2.8 li uh, lives were lost per day because of traffic crashes. So 2.8, almost three people a day are gonna lose their lives on our roadways. 163 persons were injured per day because of traffic crashes. Wow. And, and one driver out of 273 will, licensed drivers will be involved in a crash. So your chances of being in a crash each day are, are, are very high. Yeah, so very you, high. You, so you can never take for granted just because you may be going around the block or down the street to the store, you don't. You need not wear a seatbelt or Whatever, what you don't want to mess up your clothes or whatever it is. Correct. Yeah. You, you only have one life, and to protect yeah. it and protect not yeah. only your life but those that are in the car vehicle with you, and for your family, they don't yeah. want to lose you either. 
That's so this, this, is, this, is, this is serious business. Yes, buckle up, Virginia. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank Each you. Each time and every time. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Saunders. This information is so useful for everybody on the roads.